just stay the night out I know that you want it, babe Can't you stay the night and I can give you anything you want Anything you need I'ma be that nigga guy you know you gon' see yeah. So I'ma lay you down tonight I know that you gon' get it I'm that nigga on the side Nigga on the side If you want me I'm that nigga on the side to my channel if you're new here please go ahead and click the subscribe button below I upload every Sunday and Wednesday today's video is an unboxing on my most recent luxury item purchase from eBay yes I went back to eBay and it's right here this is my new wallet I'm so excited this is actually my first Louis Vuitton wallet ever I've never owned a Louis Vuitton wallet because I just never liked the styles that they had. Their most popular style is called the Sarah wallet, I believe. And I always wanted the like multicolor monogram. But yeah, their most popular wallet is called the Sarah wallet. I'm not a fan of the style. I've looked at other styles that they had and I'm just not a fan of any of them. When I discovered this wallet, I fell in love with it and I discovered it like a few months ago. So it's something like that's recent. And I found out that they make this in like the monogram multicolor like I wanted for the longest time in a wallet and of course it's discontinued. So I had to try to hunt one down online. So there is a couple of items that I do want in the monogram multicolor which uh, one of them is actually a makeup bag and the other one was this wallet. So I it took me forever to find this particular wallet because not only is the color of the inside lavender, I'll show you guys the inside actually, I'll just open it, <laughs> why not? So the inside of the wallet is this beautiful lavender color, you guys know my favorite color is lavender. If you don't, like my walls that are behind me, everything, I just really love the color lavender. So this wallet was really, really hard to find in this particular color. They had a lot of like the like lime green and yellow interior i'm not a fan of lime green or yellow but i was gonna be but i really need a new wallet so i was going to actually purchase the one that was in lime green because i just really really like the style i found one in lavender i just like had to get it i had to jump on it and purchase it and this one is in perfect condition so i probably should mention the name of the style it's called the insulite wallet or hopefully i'm saying that right insulite or isolite wallet from louis vuitton um one of those two pronunciations i i don't know but i found this in the lavender color and the fact that it was in perfect condition i had to purchase this because there's a lot of these types of wallets on ebay in the multicolor that are like lime or yellow interior but they are just like really they're just not as good condition as I wanted to purchase my wallet in. Like there was a lot of fading on the monogram. There was like stains on the inside. Um, a lot of, so a lot of them had like, I don't know, like threads coming out of the side here and like this part, the glazing like wearing off and I just didn't want to pay like $500 for a wallet that was just it just looked used and it, you could tell that it had been loved previously so I just really took the time and waited around until this came around on eBay to purchase it so yeah I'm super excited I really really love the style of it so the inside the first compartment just kind of like snaps open 
So what you have here is you have places for all your cards, which I love wallets with a lot of card space. They're pretty hard to find in my opinion. I have a lot of cards, so it's really hard for me to find a wallet that has enough card space for me. I always have to like either put it, put some in the back here or like inside the zipper compartments or something like that. But I think that this will be enough actually. Let's hope that'll be enough uh, card space for me. It looks like it, so yeah, you get a lot of card space. You get a zipper compartment here. So this is where I would probably put like either like cash or like my driver's license or something like that. I'm not sure yet. I can't wait to start putting my stuff into this wallet. And then you have a bigger compartment here in the back. And then you have another compartment behind the card slot on the other side. That is like the first main part of the wallet. I don't know if you guys can see this because it's really faint. Well, you guys probably can't see this because it's really faint. It's like embossed into the bottom part. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. It's like in a really light, light, almost like a whitish silver type font. With the yellow canvas material, it's a lot easier to see the Louis Vuitton made in Spain type thing. So then in this next zipper compartment here, you just have one big open space. It's probably the biggest wallet that I've ever owned. It's pretty big, but it's really thin. So it's gonna be really nice for bags like my Givenchy Antigona or my Louis Vuitton uh, Luminous bag, stuff like that, stuff that's a little bit bigger. So I wanna tell you guys a little bit, I'm gonna be doing a separate video on how to shop on eBay for designer goods because I think it's an important video to make since that is pretty much where I get a lot of my designer items. And I've, you know, been scammed one time and I'd like to give you guys some advice on how to not get scammed on eBay. As well as tell you guys like about sellers that I trust and stuff like that. I'll do that in a separate video, but I'd like to touch on that in this video as well, just a little bit. So for designer items like Louis Vuitton, I highly, highly, highly recommend you purchase from sellers that are located in Japan because they have a really strict policy with counterfeit designer goods in Japan. Now, a lot of people know that, but if you go into purse forums, which I highly recommend that you do, especially if you are purchasing your first designer purchase on a place like eBay or Amazon or anything like that, I highly suggest that you check out purse forums beforehand just to see if any sellers are flagged on there or just to, you know, ask for some advice on sellers people recommend and sellers that people have used in the past. So from sellers that I've purchased from and that I've seen on eBay that are based in Japan, they ha usually have their own consignment shops, whatever city that they're from. Also, they have licenses to be operating those shops and to be selling designer goods from the government and they have like a stamp seal or whatever, I don't even know, but they are just really super trustworthy. I really like purchasing from Japan. I've never had a bad experience from purchasing from Japan, so I really highly recommend it. Especially if you're in the market for Louis Vuitton, they seem to be the expert when it comes to Louis Vuitton, and I won't purchase from anywhere else. I'll quickly talk about the seller that I bought from. They sent me like a little card and a little origami star, which is so cute. The shop is called Love Otaku. Otaku? <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I butchered that completely, but um, I highly recommend them. This wallet did take, I think just a week to come, which is super, super fast. It got shipped via EMS and I didn't have to pay customs fees. And this is the second time that I purchased from Japan that I haven't had to pay customs fees. So I'm super stoked about that. I really, really hate paying customs fees and I always complain on my channel about bigger companies like Kylie Cosmetics and stuff and having to pay customs fees is really annoying to me. So I appreciate when you're purchasing something that's really expensive to not have to pay customs fees, you know what I mean? So that is pretty much it for my unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed and please stay tuned for, you know, my tips on how to shop on eBay. That'll be up hopefully closer to the end of this month. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Let me show you what it is. I was birthed up top, but was raised at the bottom of the map where the girls all thick and the hottest to grab. If you're looking for the good and we got them in a trap like... Oh.